Lindsay, what you doing? Hey, hi, Bob the Spider Hunter here. We're having a really cold day today. It started out by being uh, 1.1 degrees this morning. Something pretty about it though. At least my dog and I think so. She likes being out here. Hey, Tansy, what are you doing over there? Come here. Oh, what'd you hear? What'd you hear? Watch him. Watch him. So anyway, Miss Tansy and I are out here freezing our bottoms off <laughs> um, in this cold. But at least the sun's out. Yeah, my breath's out. You can see that too. In uh, mid-January. Well, um, I want to take a look at what the stream up here looks like. Probably just nothing to see but snow over a frozen stream. Going from those Kentucky Mountain powerful water streams and rivers to, to this is quite a change. And yet it does have its beautiful moments as you look at the artwork of nature. Ah, the beauty of a Michigan winter. Well, at least, you know, this past summer, 2018, has been an awful summer around Michigan anyway for spider hunting. Uh, too hot, droughty, not much vegetation, and I hardly found any spiders, just a handful. So I append upon my summer filming for my winter uh, videos, so very limited. However, in the middle of uh, all this cold stuff last week, um, three of my spiders came out of hibernation, much like a, a bear would in the middle of winter to check things out, maybe get a quick drink, bite to eat, and then go back to bed. So my, uh, my spiders came out for a little bit. I fed them, watered them, and, uh, and that's what I'll be showing you next. So uh, they come out of hibernation, they ate, they got watered, I had some fun with them, filmed them, they went back to bed. What else are you gonna do in the cold of winter but hibernate till springtime? Anyway, let's go check out those videos. Uh, see what we did with these uh, spiders that came out of hibernation a little bit early in the middle of winter. I have a little bit of laryngitis going on, but other than that, um, I can put up with that if you can. I was excited to see that my Phidippus audix female has come out of her little, uh, little silk sleeping bag or her little nest area. Uh, it's mm, end of December, uh, and she is out enjoying the sunshine. It started out as 32 this morning. And the sun brought up to about 52 degrees. So she's out and about, and it's nice to see her because normally she's in this hibernation mode. So I might have to go out and get her a couple little crickets to eat. I already gave her some water, which she enjoyed. I'll give you a look at her, she's right down here. She's sitting on that leaf in there, enjoying the warm sunshine. Well, to get a better look at her, let me take the lid off here. There we go. Hi, little one. How are you? Oh, you're going to look at the camera. Nice. You are so cool. I'm going to turn you around so we can get a picture of your beauty. Oh, don't run away. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Come on back. We want to see that beautiful green calicera you have there. Of course, you got to be looking into the sunlight to get that. Yeah, you're looking at the camera. I can see you. I see your two fangs there you got folded under as well. 
There, now look up at me. I want to see those green iridescent chalicera you sport with. But you're not going to look up at me, are you? Hmm. Come on, give me a look. I know you can spot me with those two eyes you have there on the back of your head. Yeah, you're watching me. Now you give me a nice look of your iridescent chalicera. Finally, they're very pretty. They fit you very, very well. Blah, 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 I know. Oh, a little clean of the eyes, I see. Get those dust particles off those great eyes of yours. Well, the warm sunshine has brought the other one out of hibernation as well. Right over here. There you are peeking out. And instead of white dots on the back of the abdomen, uh, this guy, this guy's got orange dots. So a slightly different species of jumper spider. I believe still in the Phidippus family, but a little different type. Now I know I have to go out and get some little crickets for these guys. They, they're going to come out of hibernation. They might be hungry. Well, it's kind of cool to see them come out and take a little uh, stretch and catch a little sunshine, take a little drink of water. But now, as I said, I got to get to the pet shop, buy them a couple of small little tiny crickets. They're probably hungry. So it's off to the pet shop. See you in a little bit. Well, I've introduced a couple of crickets into the container, their habitat. And we'll see if either one of those jumping spiders takes advantage of these little crickets they put in there. Oh, I think, look, sorry, right over here. Are you going to come out and see me?
into your habitat. Well, we'll see if she decides to go back into hibernation or stay out and expect to get fed and watered by me. I'm hoping she chooses the back into hibernation. It's a lot less work. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. <clears throat> Sorry about the voice. It's time of year I get these goofy colds. And have yourself a great day. I was excited to see that my Phidippus Audix female has come out of her little uh, egg. Uh, no, that's not right. Cut that out. has come out of her little, uh, maybe my cold's worse than I thought it was. Can't think. Take three. Has come out of her little silk, silk what? Sleeping bag. Let's try that again. Take four. She has come out of her little silk sleeping bag.